Being a statistician in the past perception really changed over the years using the open source R language and the environment for statistical computing and visualization opened the door for learning about data science. Strong force in encouraging, uh, inspiring in order to, uh, and inspiring in order to diverse R users worldwide is led, led by the organization called the R Ladies Global. Data scientist Tatiana Krivokapic will brief us w and much more about bigger picture R Ladies are making. Please help me welcoming her in the stage and with big applause. Thank you. It's really a pleasure to be here. And uh, is this working? Oh, OK. Yeah, OK. Uh, pleasure to be here and to uh, be part of uh, this event. So thanks to the organizers for enabling me to uh, voice about our ladies. Uh, my name is Tatiana Ketsiewicz, uh, I'm uh, academic SKP, uh, now I'm co-founder of the Tateka, a company for educating people in data science with focus on young people. Today I will uh, talk to you about um, a gender gap in data science and how uh, our ladies initiative is helping uh, for that issue to become smaller. Uh, there is overwhelming evidence that businesses are benefiting from implementing data science in their cycles and there is a growing need for qualified data scientists. Um, that means that today there's already a shortage of people uh, who can fill all those vacancies and this problem is going to become even bigger. Uh, this is relatively new um, science. and. Uh, that also at the same time present a great opportunities for youngsters. Uh, so uh, they should be really pointed out to data science as an uh, opportunity for their future jobs, future uh, job career. So the question is how the government, educational authorities, uh, businesses can really help this uh, uh, happen uh, for youngsters to realize those opportunities that are ahead of them. Uh, and also at the same time, uh, we can't forget and uh, ignore current workforce. So therefore, the people who are already in workplaces, they need to upskill their knowledge and be able to embrace new technologies in their uh, workflows. As I said, uh, there is a large gender gap in technology and science, uh, data science, therefore. Uh, and there are studies showing that only just over a quarter of uh, workforce is taken by female in data science industries. And women are twice more likely than men to quit high-tech positions. So where does R fit into all of this story? Uh, well, somebody who is a R user, uh, I clearly will have to advocate that it's most sophisticated data analytic programming language. and considering that it has statistics in its DNA, it's not uh, a surprise that it's becoming the tool of choice for many data scientists. Uh, it's uh, providing flexible environment for easy experimentation and statistical modeling. Uh, and what it's nice about R, for those of you who perhaps uh, haven't experienced using R uh, for their data science, is uh, through R you can literally mirror the way you think about certain statistical problems and you can easily communicate that to a specific target audience. So apart from all those great things that R provides, one of the greatest things about R it is com its community. Um, R Consortium, uh, which is a foundation uh, that supports um, uh, R community, has uh, open um, survey last year, uh, has had open survey last year and uh, the survey was open from July, uh, early July last year till end of August and they have gathered uh, profiles of our users and in their survey they managed to get over three and a half thousand responses. You can find all those different things that they, they were able to identify by going onto the link I have uh, put. But what is interesting for me from uh, Dave's presentation is that uh, in this uh, survey, over 80% were male responders and just, over, just under 20% were female responders. So again, pointing out that there is a, 
a big gender gap even in uh, our, our community. In 2015, a community has established uh, our Forwards Foundation Task Force on women and other underrepresented groups. Uh, the idea was to increase the proportion of uh, women at the following uh, user conference. So basically at that conference, first time uh, we looked into uh, data about previous conferences and uh, how much of the presentation was delivered by, by females. Uh, but in 2016 at Stanford, um, that was the first in that survey where we actually collected the data uh, about uh, our users. At that conference, what was also nice, what had happened uh, uh, because of the R forwards, uh, was that there was a room designated for, for mothers. Uh, that took a step forward and the following year at our user in 2017, we had also a childcare, uh, which was one of the really nice things uh, to offer. So apart from all those things that uh, our forwards are uh, trying to put forward, uh, enabling young mums uh, to be part of those conferences, uh, we also trying to uh, enable diverse uh, background of people who are presenting and who are participating at uh, those conferences and uh, be providing diversity scholarships and uh, this year at our user conference there was a free tutoring for the newbies. The goal of our community is to uh, get women into developing packages and uh, the goal is for that to happen, the goal is for women to be in that 20% bracket and over. And in general, to widen the broader proportion of the women in the community to be between 30 to 40%. As a mom of a young child, I really do believe that conferences should provide childcare. Uh, it is useful for parents, young parents, to be part of events like this. And uh, really, uh, by providing a uh, family-friendly environment and building that culture, businesses uh, and stakeholders should really uh, support and um, encourage, uh, in encourage women and young people, young families to be part of uh, those events. Uh, in, and also, it's not just to encourage people to be part of those events because they perhaps would be stopped because of their young families, but also uh, with building that kind of a culture, you enabling women uh, to return back into their discipline and to be still part of what's going on rather than sitting at home and uh, looking after their, their children. In terms of um, Forward's initiative, I would also point out that uh, uh, we're not just uh, following uh, the broader uh, aspects of how many people uh, are part of the community and providing scholarships, but we're also very active in developing uh, teaching material and running the workshops uh, for youngsters with a focus, of course, on women and young girls. And last weekend here in Belgrade, we had started a new initiative uh, called Click R, where we were teaching uh, youngsters between 13 to 18. And we had a great response and clearly there is a big hunger for children to learn this kind of stuff. So how can you join? If you're a woman, I would suggest you should join our ladies if you haven't already. Uh, and you should put your name down into our ladies directory. But everybody else really, uh, they need to be aware of other women's uh, contributions, invite women to participate and promote welcoming culture. So in terms of our ladies, uh, what they are, they're global organization, they're worldwide organization that promotes diversity in our stats community via meetups and mentorship in a friendly and safe environment. Uh, the goal is to promote our and exchange knowledge and create our community among women, but not exclusively just for women, but everybody who is underrepresented, like LGBT, uh, and also anybody who wants to support those kind of initiatives. 
our mission is to get more women into developing new packages and clearly to uh, have more participants, female participants in the community. How did it all start? Uh, in 2012, uh, Gabriella has noticed that uh, in, um, at a user conference in Nashville, there were only few of us presenting uh, as females. Uh, and she was wondering why was that the case. So she came up with the idea that uh, perhaps uh, we can start a new initiative, such as Our Ladies. And the first meetup uh, was run in 2012, in October 2012, in San Francisco. After that, the next one was uh, a couple of years later in uh, Taipei, and then Town City, and then finally early March 2016 in, Lon in London. So. What uh, happened next was something that was really amazing. Uh, at Stanford User Conference uh, in San Francisco, uh, San Francisco and London Group met and they presented their initiative, presented what they were doing at the time. But um, what also had happened, our consortium uh, had uh, funded our ladies with the idea that this group is going to uh, grow and we expected to get five to ten new cities within a year. But really what happened was something magnificent. The All Our Ladies initiative exploded. Uh, we are a global uh, initiative now that is covering all different kinds of corners of the world. Uh, at our Twitter account we have over 7,000 followers. Uh, you can find our uh, Our Ladies website with all the information about the events that we are running, with the directories of the cities and chapters where our ladies exist and also our ladies presenters. This is just a map of the meetups around the world where we exist, uh, which means that we are in over 35 countries, over 120 cities, and we count just under 30,000 members. Uh, those figures probably would change very soon. Uh, this is just, again, showing that we are really at all continents. What is really nice about our ladies is uh, as you travel around the world, you can uh, meet with all those different chapters and uh, do the presentation and exchange knowledge. So it's not just within your chapter, within your town, but rather it's a global initiative and therefore uh, you can join in wherever you, you really go. You should look into, onto our website and see uh, the place that you're visiting is the place that you're visiting perhaps uh, hosting some of those Our Lady meetups and you should join. So how can you help? Uh, Hadley had uh, as his last year resolution, uh, I, this year resolution, that uh, he would support Our Ladies by uh, speaking at Our Ladies meetups. Uh, so this year he's done several meetups and last night we had the uh, honored to have him uh, at our meetup and we could uh, see um, directly uh, from Hardly how to do some coding and how to do uh, analysis of a little open data set. Uh, in terms of if you are a business and you like the idea of uh, supporting initiatives like this, uh, we are always welcoming sponsors who can provide free venues. Uh, and considering that the meetups usually happen late in the afternoons after long working days, uh, we are always happy to get sponsors who could provide food and drinks. Uh, in general, uh, we would uh, like you to advocate, to become an ally, to spread the world and encourage others to uh, join us in our Our Ladies. If you are part of the Our Ladies, um, you can share your code, you can uh, learn to teach, to mentor, to present. So there are all those other skills that are outside of just programming and coding scope that we would encourage you to, to develop. Uh, basically, you can give back by doing that kind of stuff. If uh, our ladies chapter does not exist in your town, uh, you can perhaps start um, that chapter. And the way to do so is by emailing us. Our Ladies chapter, Belgrade chapter does exist and if you haven't been to one of our meetups, I would strongly recommend you to come uh, and join us, uh, if nothing else, just to see 
what do we do? And if you like it, uh, please uh, take more active part. Uh, you can find us on Twitter and you can also find us on our meetup page. And with this, I would uh, finish uh, this talk. Thank you. Okay, uh, thank you for the presentation. Um, I hope you have uh, questions. So, do we have a question? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, I saw that you started your uh, Our Ladies, uh, can I say, organization in Belgrade. Have you considered opening in other town cities? Actually, uh, my first chapter was in Manchester, where I lived. Uh, recently, I moved to Belgrade, and I've joined the chapter that was uh, formally uh, in place, but really the meetup started uh, last December, so it was a bit sporadically, and now we really kind of are getting into a swing and a machine where we have got m more ladies who have joined us and who, f who feel confident to take over and to mentor and to deliver workshops, etc., etc. Uh, I'm asking this because uh, I participated in organization of Rails Girls. Yeah. And we started recently in Zrenjanin. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the city where I study. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would really like to see if that is po if there's a possibility so we can start, uh, I don't know, maybe a workshop in Zrenjanin. So it will be amazing if girls from, you know, not just Everything happens in Belgrade, so yeah. like something outside of Belgrade. I, I'm pleased about that, uh, that comment. Uh, we already had one meetup uh, in Novi Sad, and we're hoping that will kind of take on. Uh, also in terms of race girls, uh, I have been involved with them since I came back to Belgrade. Uh, there was Enter Conference, and they were asking me to do a little workshop uh, on behalf of race girls. Uh, and we are hoping to actually uh, organize some meetups together uh, because uh, you can also create websites uh, in R. So R is not just uh, tools for data analysis, but really a data science tool that enables you to write reports, to create websites, um, and all those things that you need when doing data science. So there are many aspects that are really touching with the community you are part of. So that would be great and I would really like to see that spreading around Serbia. Me too. <laughs>